Welcome to SelfDiscoveryWisdom.com, formerly known as Self Discovery Media. On these podcasts, you're going to hear people who speak from the heart. They've taken the journey in life. Many things have happened to them, but they've changed it to happening for them. And in their strength, their courage, they've discovered their abilities and their wisdom, and they are now sharing it here with you. Do enjoy each show. We bring it to you with love and knowing that it's going to help you on your journey of life. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Sarah's View of Life, right here on selfdiscoverywisdom.com. I'm your host, Sarah Dry. Well, my goodness, you know when you plan something and you want it all to kind of be one thing after the other, next, next, achieve this, now next, what's next? Well, all of my next have just come crashing together like a traffic jam, and everything seems to be on a deadline. But... That's okay. I'll rise to the equation, the occasion because this is something I've really wanted to do. My book, our book rather, our Forgotten Children book series, the anthology around children and parenting has gone to the publisher for the final stages and will be out on the 20th of February. And now the next thing to do in the book for me is actually put my ebook into a um, a paperback book format and get that out. The ebook is already out. And now and then give myself a five minute breather and then start the next process um, in February for the next book, which is all about coaches and their coaching styles and what they offer and why they do what they do. And then the book after that will be the Forgotten Seniors book. So whew, yes, I need to give myself a breather somewhere in between. Plus, I'm going to be moving um, in March. So (laughs) it's just like it just best laid plans, right? And God laughs. And so everything kind of piles up all at once. But you know what? It's okay. If we just take a deep breath and allow, do what you need to do in the moment. Once that gets done, what's the next moment? Yep, you don't get an awful lot of break to downtime. Sometimes you just got to step away from something clear your head and come back. Because I guarantee you, while you've got an awful lot on your plate and so much that you've got to get done in a certain period of time, other people will ask you to do something too. And it's always an honor, like I've just been asked to write the forward for Schwapna Abraham's uh, music book for children. Great honor. Uh, Coming in the same week that I've done nine shows and finish the book on all the details that have to go out, And we've had minus, I was minus three in my office this week, working in minus three. Right now I'm about plus two and it's snowing out there. So we can get it done. I know I need a break. So this weekend I'm going down to see my grandchildren and I'm going to have grandbabies all over me. I don't necessarily get an awful lot of sleep, but I get rejuvenated with the love of those beautiful little creatures and being with my daughter and son-in-law. And uh, so, you know, look at forward to the respites. If you've got that deadline, you've got to get things done. Just (sighs) take a deep breath. Okay, what's in front of me right now? What do I need to do right now? How long do I anticipate it taking? And then add time because it's always going to take longer. And um, and just literally deal with things one thing after the other. I meant to have read my wonderful guest's book, um, which I had fully intended to do. Uh, she's in our show this week, the Embrace the 90% by Darcy Lang. And I haven't had a chance to finish it because it's just been one thing after the other. But it's okay. I will get to it. We will do our show. I'm just as much as in wonderment of what she's got to share as everybody else. And uh, with all the other guests that I've had this week, and I've had some musicians, and I've had spiritual people, I've had health people, I've had business people, I've had God-like people. I mean, it's this week, it's full of it. And it's exciting. Even the wonderful title called The Cosmic Bitch, <laughs> which I love. And so there's so much wisdom for you here in this week. So I invite you to go look at all the other shows that are under this week, which is 2404. Um, and the fourth week of the, the month, and you're going to see some incredible 
incredible people. Not that I bring credible people to you all the time. It's just like this week, they have all here at once and the book has gone out. It's now in the hands of the publisher and I can go and have my downtime with my babies and come back and start all over again. So you have to love what you do in order to be able to keep up with the pressures that sometimes are upon you. But you know what? When we do love what we do, we just do it well. We do it because we're compelled to. We find the time and the space to do it. And if you have to say no to other people at this time, I can't meet with you, I can't do this and that, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to say, catch you later, just too busy right now. And, um, you know, I've got a huge and exciting year ahead of me here. At least another two more books to come out. I'm in uh, three books. The, the uh, I've Forgotten Children book, my book, and two other anthology books, Dare to Live Fiercely and the 262 Project. And, uh, you know, it's just exciting with where everything is taking us. And um, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be doing what I'm doing, even if sometimes, you know, there is a traffic jam with everything piled up, but it's okay because I can see an open road over there of smooth sailing, just got to get off this highway and go and take a different road where I can pace things out a little bit more. But it's going to be a year of great achievement. Um, I turned the big 7-0, my son-in-law and my son turned the big 4-0, my son's getting married. And it's an exciting year because this this is the year of the eight and it's exciting of what it's going to bring to us. So yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get into it. However busy we are, let's get into it and make it happen. So folks, until next week, I hope you have a great week and I will catch you later. We hope that you enjoyed the show. There are so many more for you here on selfdiscoverywisdom.com. Just go to the podcast tag at the top there and you will see all the many genres and all 3,000 shows ready for your listening. We are here to serve you, to help you on your journey of life, and we know that through inspiration, it begets invitation. We are supported by you, the listeners, and those that we interview. Anything that you can spare us in donation would be greatly accepted, and we do hope that you enjoy the next show.